Well, hey there, folks. Welcome to another Train Simulator video. We are back on Minerman's Bergen County Line. Uh, and we are down in, well, it's kind of southeast, east, south, southeasterly uh, quadrant area vector of the entire map here. So we're, we're close to the river over here, close to New York City. You can see the, uh, the Twin Towers in the background there. God bless them. Uh, and we are sitting here in what is now the intermodal facility um, that Norfolk Southern runs. And it's a pretty good size. And so we're just going to kind of go around the area here. We've got a lot to cover. Um, so essentially this is the intermodal facility. It's a sort of an old passing track right here, if I'm not mistaken. Um, back here, we've got the the Hudson uh, Power Station. I think I went over that a couple videos ago, headed to Hoboken. Uh, but that's that's sat over there on the Hackensack River. Um, but yeah, this this place is massive. It's an intermodal facility, so it you know it it mainly takes uh, cargo off of trains. So we've got a, an empty sitting here, getting ready to get slung out of here by these Norfolk Southern engines. Uh, but they will all be packed back here, and then we've got some loaded ones sitting over here. Now, yes, you're probably thinking, Sean, there's some really nice double stacks out there and I would say yes you are correct but every time I try to load them in I get about an out of memory error game crashes and I didn't feel like dealing with that so I just use the nice ones off uh, Highline Stevens Pass and stuff like that they're, they're still pretty decent they're just not real realism <laughs> but that's fine they still look good they're nice and colorful they got uh, companies on them and all that but anyway to the fact of the matter at hand so big intermodal yard so they they uh they bring it in here from the north uh over that away or the south i think a lot of this norfolk southern traffic uh the im traffic goes from atlanta or hot atlanta for my fellow southerners to uh up here to croxton so they're gonna essentially arrive and depart that way this way is the east lead that heads uh, north and then west up to New York on the map, of course. Uh, Port Jervis, all that good stuff. Uh, but anyway, yep, they would normally be sat here. Uh, they'd get unloaded. Over here, we've got the car shop. So we got some, some bad orders and whatnot. So they're being repaired, uh, getting torched, welded, whatever. Um, yep, yeah, so that's that. Just got a bunch of stuff sitting over here. Uh, this is the, the road in and out of the facility so the uh, the truckers can can hook up to their cargo and get boogie and and again even over here with a lot of this route this just looks really nice the road i love this uh kind of mixture of the old you know it's not not too fresh asphalt you know it's kind of cracking on the sides and whatnot got this canal running alongside here with the appropriate plant i'm big on foliage i, I feel like it really fleshes out uh, train sim route, so that looks really nice. We'll cruise on back over here. Go through the uh, the repair shop here. Got a bunch of crap just sitting around, as uh, as per usual. But you know, today's modern safety standards, they probably wouldn't have that much stuff laying around. But uh, in TS, it makes it look a little more uh, fleshy. What we got going on over here? Uh oh, somebody's getting the the talk. <laughs> this looks like a custom building here. Indeed it is. Is that a couple of containers? Yeah, there we go. That's interesting. Almost looks like an aircraft hangar. It's cool. But see, there's stuff all back here. He's got a dumpster way back here. That's nice. Cars parked. Employees. Got some, uh, some tractors for moving stuff around. Now, I'm not sure if these... Uh, I don't know what his intent was with these. They could have been moving ballast around and, you know, ties. Who the hell knows what? So that's completely plausible that they're here. Uh, but I was desperately looking for a, uh, a side loader for these intermodal uh, containers. And I could not find one within Train Simulator. It was the uh, the darndest thing. I, I thought I'd seen one before. Um, I looked all over. There's a couple of cranes and gantries, but... Uh, as far as I know, Croxton doesn't have those. They just have side loaders, so sadly I could not find them. But anyway, that's fine. We're still moving on here. 
So right here is uh, where the trucks are going to exit. Got these nice pads over the tracks here. So they're lining up to get weighed and get checked out. And I love the barriers that he's placed because this is all legit right here. You know, just to keep these guys facing in the right direction. This is all legit right here, looking at maps and whatnot. Uh, this is the entrance right here. It's a nice area, but the the entire yard has actually got a, a little split area here that you can drive across because a majority of these um, containers are going to be stored back here. This is like a storage lot. So they'd, uh, you know, the tractor trailer, the engine would come in and, uh, you know, grab one and then haul back out. Now, there's also a line over here. This... Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, New Jersey Transit or MTA can take this as kind of a, a diversion to loop around Secaucus and go back, I believe. Because it loops up and around that way. And then Secaucus is uh, that away. Anywho, back at it. But uh, it this looks really good. He laid it out very nicely. And, and you know, filling it in with... Uh, Rolling stock is just, it just, you know, puts the cherry on top of the pie, if you will, with a little whipped cream as well. But uh, over here, we got a couple of yard goats getting a sip of water. Um, these are going to be your uh, your fueling tanks and whatnot for the engines. Maybe get sand, who knows what. Uh, just got a couple of random cars laying around here just for, you know, just for shits and gigs, I guess. Um Here's the exit back up here. So they're they're loading on out of here, getting weighed or checked or whatever the heck happens, and then they scooch on out of here. And then there's the uh, the highway that they take. Now up that way, I'm I'm assuming a lot of them. That's why I kind of face this truck here. A lot of them are probably going to take off that way because I think that's Jersey Parkway up there and I-95, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but a little bit about the area. Uh, the this very large building right here. This is the United States Postal Office International Bulk Mail Center, and it's friggin' huge. Um, there, of course, is New York City over there. Jersey City is right in here. That's Hoboken, right over there. Um, but yeah, that's the USPS International Bulk Mail Facility. And then over here we've got Goya Foods. I don't know if some of you might have seen Goya in uh, grocery stores, supermarkets, or whatnot, but it's, I think traditionally they make like beans and uh, tropical juices and things like that. Um, but anyway, this is the intermodal yard. It's huge. There's a lot you can do here. It's a, it's a cool place. Um, they'll take off around that way and there's also I would like to point out there's a little lumber place right back here I'll check out the map real quick here little lumber place right here called North American plywood just right at the end of the yard that's uh, it's, it's kind of funny that it's tucked away back in there off this massive yard but uh, anyway all these tracks crisscross this way and that there is a, a cemetery which he has uh, fleshed in here that you can see in the distance there with the complete with headstones. I think I went over that in the Hoboken video. Uh, but anyway, there's a cemetery there and he has placed that. Uh, these, these lines that go south out of here, there's another very, very massive yard. It's like a twofer. A twofer. Uh, it's the, what is it? I think it's a CSX Kearney yard or Kearney, whatever you want to pronounce it like, uh, massive intermodal yard as well. Transfer station. That's over that way. Uh, as well as New Jersey transit, uh, their maintenance facility is over that way. And it's, it's, it's pretty massive and they're, they're kind of sandwiched together. So, but it's a, it's a huge place. Um, it's, it's nuts, these two facilities this close together. But then again, you got places like Chicago and L.A. and all that that, you know, it's it's not that crazy. So it's uh, it's still interesting, though, to have them uh, fairly close together. We'll scooch on back this way. So this right here that we're coming up on is I-95 and the Northeast Corridor. So down there, that's the caucus. Got the upper mezzanine level and all that good stuff. That is the caucus right there. That is the line 
the uh, passenger line that goes up to Hoboken, or if you want to go that way, Port Jervis, uh, and all places along the way. But this is your uh, northeast corridor right here. We'll scoot under the bridge. Like how he's got the fence down here, because it is, you know, these yards, they're they're very keen on keeping people out of these yards that aren't supposed to be in here, so. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't try to wander in an intermodal yard if I were you. Just uh, just a heads up. They'll <laughs> they'll they'll get on you like a tick on a dog's ass real quick. Uh, anyway, this right here is the uh, Croxton Yard office. I don't know if this is here any longer, uh, but we got a couple of supervisors or whatnot. You know, planning your your future on the railroad here. Um, but it's I like this area. It's a good looking area. It's between these two massive, you know, pretty good sized yards, and then you've got the two bridges. Uh, that's the Parkway right there. That's I ninety five, which is a major interstate for those that may not know. That runs essentially north and south along the eastern seaboard of the uh, U.S. of A. And then of course the uh, Northeast Corridor right over there. We'll keep on scooching this away. So this right here is, I believe this is the OG Croxton Yard. Like, it's a, it's essentially the same yard, but in modern times, uh, that behind us was formed. Um, it's a section of Jersey City uh, and the Meadowlands, which I guess you'd call this whole area. But uh, it's bound between uh, Pinhorn Creek and... What else? I guess the Hackensack River, because I, did, I didn't go over that. Let's go back. There's actually a creek that runs under the yard. It's insane. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. There it is right there. There we go. But anyway, it's known officially as the New Jersey Intermodal Terminal. But uh, I'll just keep calling it Croxton Yard. That's fine with me. But here it is. Here's the creek, and it goes on under the uh, the tracks there. Should be able to find it, and there it is. Bing, bam, boom. Right there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But anyway, I think you can see uh, NJT commuter trains parked up in here sometimes. Um, it's, a, it's a somewhat busy area, I think, for the most part. The... The local turns that come out of here, you know, the uh, the local engines that aren't bringing or taking out uh, IM stuff, they typically run early in the morning for a couple hours. It's the first turn. The last turn is, I think, between 5 and 9. So middle of the day, they're not doing anything because, you know, traffic's busy. NJT, MTA, all that good stuff. So they'll they'll do the, uh, the yard tricks uh, early and late, essentially, so... Let's see. Da, 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 da. And yeah, I think if an NJT or MTA does come through here, that's kind of a U-turn back that way, and it loops back around to Secaucus. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Anyway, the name Croxton was given to the railroad yard after a dude, a dude, <laughs> named Philip Croxton was the traffic manager for uh, Laurelard Tobacco Company, which is a pretty massive place around here um anyway so it was named for him but uh yeah just a, a little teeny tiny bit of history there for you so we are in the essentially western lead here so this is where your your junk trains i guess you could say or shuttles or whatever you got going on they're going to come through here or they're going to terminate here um so that's what i've got set up here that way is the Hackensack River, the HX Straw Bridge. We'll go ahead and scooch on down there. Some cool stuff down there. We'll fly by there with that laser train sound that just happened. That's interesting. Gotta let the scenery load in here. Hopefully it will. Come on. Load. You son of a gun. There we go. That's my computer, not the root. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a potato for you. Anyway, this is the Hackensack River. We've been over this, I think, a couple of times in prior videos. If you've not seen the prior videos and you'd like to, I'd, I'd urge you to go down and check them out. Um, they're scattered uh, down below. 
Anyway, that's the HX drawbridge, which is a very cool uh, and custom, if you will, drawbridge. Uh, very unique to the area and railroads as a whole. Um, this over here, there's kind of a canal that runs in right here. So this whole area that we see here is called Harmon Cove, and it was like an upscale, you know, who's who, keeping up with the Joneses, all that good stuff. It was like a, a gated neighborhood built in the 70s, I think. And these places right here are called Harmon Cove Towers, and they're massive. And he built it to look just like it is i mean they they do look like this the shape of them where they're sat he's got the swimming deck all that like this this is totally legit it uh it looks right over the canal and i gotta say one thing like if you're a if you're a train nerd foamer whatever you want to call yourself this would be a damn good place to watch some trains and see some action because there's all kinds of stuff that you would see up here but uh anywho down here is the ex now abandoned and derelict Harmon Cove station sadly so before Secaucus Junction which for the second or third time in this video I've mentioned Secaucus Junction where's it at it's down there so that's Secaucus Junction it wasn't built yet uh, until later in the century and this right here used to be the line that would serve all the way into Hoboken, X Erie line, all that good stuff. But it's it was still kind of is Bergen County line, uh, and there was a station here, pretty good sized station, parking lot, and you can see that he's left the platform. He's got the just you know gnarly looking rails just pound down into the dirt. It looks great. I like that old derelict look. Uh, and apparently this station was built to serve uh, this place over here called Harmon Cove. So it was essentially for these people that lived in this neighborhood uh, if they wanted to take uh, public transport. So there would, uh, there would be a staircase. I think there's a staircase somewhere over here on the parkway. I don't think they'd cross the tracks to get on it. So it'd, it'd be over there, I believe. But um, anyway, sadly, this place closed in... I want to say the early 2000s um, that was built in the early 70s along with this neighborhood behind us. But uh, yeah, it was closed because the caucus was built way over there and it, you know, it diverted all the traffic. And it kind of makes sense because you got the Northeast Corridor running north and south and then, you know, everything else. So it was a, a pretty, pretty good sized terminus to compete with, you know, so uh, it's, it's no wonder that they... Uh, they closed it but it's cool the way he's laid it out here it just looks completely overgrown as it would i've seen a few photos of this place from um you know train fans and and foamers whatever you want to call them you know sitting here uh getting photos of stuff coming across the drawbridge behind us which makes a really nice backdrop and uh the parking lot and everything's still here it was a pretty large parking lot i think it could accommodate like a hundred cars uh but anywho yeah, just uh, neat little areas here. So back here in the yard, we shall go. So this is where, from the time this route is essentially set to modernity now, if you will, this is where all your local stuff uh, would go to and fro, originate and terminate is right here. I love this uh, ditch running alongside here, just covered in shrubberies and weeds. That's one of the things I've always liked about this route is that right there. Some of the stuff you see in, in train sim routes is just bare. And to me, you know, I don't I don't think it looks that great. It's gotta have just stuff all around it that makes it for me. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this this is the non everything not intermodal yard right here. So I've got it set up with just a couple of random things. Uh, looks like we got a dude down here waiting on the switch for us. But uh, we're gonna say, and again, some of you you eagle-eyed folks out there may be like, GP thirty three ecos are not at Croxton Yard. You're an idiot, and I would agree, they are not. Uh, but 
I got tired of using Norfolk Southern just pinstripe, you know, tuxedo Jeeps. So I figured, what the hell? We'll go ahead and use some of these uh, GP33 Egos, which, you know, aren't too bad. I kind of like these engines. They're, they're fun to mess around with every now and then. So we'll go ahead and scooch over on that way. And there is a, a merchant's lead that goes... Did I pass it? Nope, there it goes right there. You can see it. So it's a, another spur. This is like uh, one of, I don't even know, several dozen spurs and branch lines off this route. But it goes off that way, and we're going to run some stuff back there and go over the merchants slash industries back there. They're all consignees, so all they do is receive stuff. They don't ship stuff. So the uh, the crews will go back there and, you know, drop off loads and haul out empties. Let's go ahead and get on board here. Make sure we got the lights on. This thing always does this uh, weird thing with the lighting. This 33 Eco. Anyway, it's a unique engine. It's very modern. We don't have a lot of stuff like this in Train Simulator, so what the heck. We're going to use it. Alright, let's go ahead and check our route. Alright, we are gravy. Biscuits and gravy. I believe the bell goes off on its own on this one. I haven't used it in such a while. I think. Hello. <laughs> I think it's like 30 seconds or something. There we go. Because some, some locomotives are set up like that where the ditch lights will flash uh, a certain amount of time and the bell will ring, etc. So anyway, this place we're backing up to sadly no longer exists. Uh, as per a couple of years ago, I think, um, it's it's been ripped up. So... Uh, you know, I don't know if, if Norfolk Southern Conrail, whoever didn't want to didn't want to serve these industries anymore, or if the uh, the merchants back here just didn't want to use rail freight. You know, everybody's going to trucks for the most part, unless you're a, a pretty large industry. Um, but there are several back here. Let's see. There's ooh, maybe a dozen. Let's see. I'm gonna. Counting my fingers here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. That's almost a dozen. Close enough anyway. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff back here. They'll they'll typically take uh, covered hoppers, reefers, uh, and box cars. It's a majority of box cars, so just dry goods, um, palletized, if you will. The, uh, the first place we're going to is, uh, I think it's called Merchants Refrigerator Company. So these reefers we got on the back, that is for them. Uh, they, well, they take refrigerated goods. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't find much more into it, but it's, uh, you know, refrigerated foods, things of that nature, I think. Um, so yeah, that's that's what they take. So we're going to go ahead and cruise on back here. Watch the scenery go by. A lot of little branch lines like this. Cross over the road here. And it's another one of those places, like, uh, you know, if there's scenery on this route, it's pretty much guaranteed to be, you know, well done and not just uh, see it from a distance kind of thing. You know, it's, it's thick with detail. This is, uh, this is one of the uh, consignees right here. They have already been swapped out. Um... So they take a couple of boxcars and covered hoppers. I think that is Hart's Mountain Pet Food. 
And uh, they got all kinds of fun stuff. They got, uh, they get catnip. <laughs> just, just wholesale catnip, I guess, that they put into cute little bags and toys to, you know, make your cats freak out over. Uh, so anyway, yeah, they do catnip. Um, boxed feed, whatever that is, just general food, I guess, that they make into other food. I'm not sure how it works. Uh, they get soybean, bone meal, uh, milled barley. So I, I think they just use those to make, you know, cat foods, dog foods, ferret foods, goldfish food, whatever the heck. But it's wet back here, man. There's, uh, it's, it's very swampy. There's canals running all back here because the Hackensack River is over that way. And this creek... It's back over to our left there, so we're kind of like stuck in the middle. So it's very swampy, very lowland. Let's see. That's another spot right there. We're not going to be hitting that, so we're going to look at it as we go. That is TNT Express. We'll go ahead and hop out and pause it here. That is called TNT Express and Klaus Global. Santa Claus. Uh, but they get a couple of box cars per week. Uh, this place seems pretty busy. When you look at Minerman's um, factoid sheet that that has all the consignees and shippers and whatnot, and what they do and how much um, they're serviced on a weekly basis, this place seems to be one of the hottest. They get a ton of stuff weekly. Um, but anyway, let's see. Uh, TNT is just general freight. I don't, I don't really know what that means. Just whatever falls under general freight. So it's boxcar stuff. And then uh, Klaus Global. It is an absolute mystery. I have no clue. <laughs> I couldn't find anything anything about it. But it, it sounds like a... sounds to me like a Bond villain. You know, and it's like a cover for the Bond villain's, you know, nefarious company. And his name is Klaus. But uh, anyway, let's keep on rolling here. It's a cover-up. It's a fake company. Shell company. But it's nice because it is low, right? So it's probably prone to flooding back here. The, the soil isn't very stable, but he's got the tracks raised up right on the ballast and the embankments. But it's all... I just I love that. I love that. And train sim. This right here just completes scenery for me love it and then he's got all the uh, the lowland type um, flora sitting here which is very nice of course there's a level crossing right here complete with all these warehouses which as you can see are all custom assets once again that he is uh, he is put together like a jigsaw puzzle and made it work so here's like your your industry warehouse and then the office, you know, where the the people that come in in suits and ties sit in the nice air conditioning while the people back here sweat their nads off. But that's how it goes, man. Here's his uh, custom cross bucks. So we have got those along the boulevard here. Just a nice looking area, man. Like looking at the curb. And the trees planted all down the road there. It's pretty. Got trucks everywhere. You know, road freight set up, street lights, intersections, cars. There's a lot going on back here. We'll dive in here. As you can see, once again, just asset after asset combined. It is insanely good it's it's amazing uh, 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 we're speeding let's go ahead and back off the throttle there even the little overhang over the trailers here you know like I'm saying stuff way off the beaten path that you're not really probably gonna look at most of the time he still completes scenery wise all right, we need to start slowing down a bit there. There are the Harmon Cove Towers over there, so you can kind of get a, a gist from where you're at here.
They even got this flooded water up along this uh, place back here. It just looks good, man. Little narrow kind of alleyway right between all these buildings. Oh my god, I hope we can stop in time. Stop! Yeah, we'll be good. Hopefully. Alright, we'll drop these reefers off here. We'll go down to where we're at. So this is the end of the line, the merchant's lead back here. We're going to block traffic for a minute. diet all righty so merchants refrigerator company or refrigerant company it's not refrigerator refrigerating company I made it sound like they make refrigerators they might I don't think they do though just said that wrong uh, all right let's go ahead and cut these push back forward here go Go, 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 go. There we go. Don't want it to recouple. That's the uh, the cooler. Little generator. Firing up there. Keeping that stuff nice and cool. But this place is nice. Trucks everywhere. Trailers everywhere. They obviously do some over-the-road freight because there's all kinds of trucks. This is probably where they service their own trucks there. Got the garage, the water tower. It's just done up, man. It just, it looks like it looks good, but it's got that good, dirty look. And you guys know what I'm talking about. There's always a good, dirty look. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of got that, you know. It's not too, uh, what's the word? It's not too, uh, sterile or something. You know what I mean? It, um, it just looks good. All right, let's see. Next stop, we've got Marty Shoe Company, and you can probably take a a wild stab at what they do. That's the spur right there. We'll go ahead and pull up here. Anyway, Marty Shoe Company, well, they make shoes, and they take two boxcars uh, on demand for parts to make shoes, I guess. I don't know rubber, leather, uh, things of that nature. I'm going to go ahead and pull on up here and back these two. I think we got two boxcars for them. Let's see. Yep, that's him right there. little screeching stop too soon that's the conductor's fault I'm gonna blame it on the conductor he didn't give me an accurate reading my uh, my virtual conductor back here it's always his fault I'm just noticing over here there's a tennis court <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that there's there's got to be some story behind it or it's I, I'm I'm highly certain it's there in real life otherwise it wouldn't be there but it's kind of funny because it's like you know this huge industrial area they just like you know they're inside sweating their gonads off doing whatever they do and they're like oh let's go play some tennis it's uh it's interesting but it could be like some kind of academy you know or something like that where people get tennis lessons who knows all right, we're going to drop these two box cars off here at Marty Shoe Co. And then next up is Hearts Mountain Industries, which is the uh, the pet food and pet product company. They're kind of scattered all back here. They got, uh, I think they got three spurs back here. There's the one at the front we went by, and then there's another one up here. 
a little ways. We'll go ahead and cut these off though. Yeah, we're we'll right on the on the side here. Very tight. Tight squeeze. Complete with the doors over here, of course. Yeah, a little bit more. Come on. A little bit more. But yeah, they could uh, they could definitely accommodate quite a few box cars. I think they actually receive four on demand, weekly, monthly, what have you. Um, but I just chose two, I think. Did I choose two? Yeah, I chose two. All right, Marty Shuko is done and done. I said two, right? I keep thinking three. They're going to have to use a pry bar to move them into into position there. That's a uh, that's that's a personal problem for them. It's it's hard to get it exact. All right, hopefully these box cars cut loose as they should here. Come on, go. There we go. There we go. All right, next up, Hearts Mountain Industries, the other portion of Hearts. These places are huge, though, man. Like, some of the best darn uh, warehouses I've ever seen in any train simulator map are right here on the Bergen County line. It's the tops that do it for me. Like, when he adds all the, uh, the, the venting and, you know, steam pipe and all that stuff. It just, it really, really makes it nice. And the places are just huge. This one looks really good as well. It looks unique. I, this siding, I don't remember seeing too much. It just looks really good. Um, I guess it's like some drain pipes going up there. Is that a is that a separate thing there? It is. I'll be. I'll be. I think it is. Yeah. So, I think it's supposed to be, maybe like exterior kind of exoskeleton support of the building. Or uh, drain pipes. Yeah, that's a good looking building. And of course, it's, you know, there's a bunch of things going on here at once. He sure did. Yep, he, he placed each one of those beams. I don't even know what those go to. Maybe like a light post or something. But it looks good, man. It looks good. Alright, I think this is hearts right here. Hearts. Yes, this hearts takes. We got to run way down there. This is a little run around, little passing siding right here. So if uh, you know, a, a lot of these locals will run uh, an engine front and back for the most part. Um, so I guess they need to cut one loose, and because uh, these these spurs are not all turned the same way, which may or may not b why i'm only serving these specific industries i can neither confirm nor deny um so yeah that's you got this passing signing here if you if you want to operate it differently than what i'm doing here a little bit further got all the uh escape emergency escape exits on these buildings here I like those complete with the stairs so those stairs are not part of these buildings. That's a uh, that's a singular asset thingamabob. All right, back it up. Cut one more over. All right, Hearts Mountain Industries. Whoa! What the heck happened there? Anyway, this place right here we're going to, this seems to be a, 
a feline or cat centric uh, area back here. This place we're going to, we're dropping off some uh, some ancient volcanic ash, also known as some kind of clay, otherwise known as kitty litter. So yeah, that's what this place receives right here. Uh, the uh, I wish I'd have remembered the friggin' scientific name. It's gonna bother me now. I cannot remember what it's called. But anyway, yes, yeah, the stuff that makes kitty litter. So, there you go. Catnip. And then kitty litter. Even this right here, man, this, uh, I like this planter here. Got the trees all in the planter. It's not just level with the ground, you know. That looks good. Alright, so they get one singular solitary boxcar. So that's what we're going to drop here. Kablamo, there she goes. Alright, throw her back forwards. I'm gonna push on. Next up we've got I think they're called Burroughs Corporation. Or Burroughs. Burra. Boro. That's actually this one right here. Now, unfortunately I couldn't get too much in lieu of detail on what they do. Um but it just says business equipment, so I don't know if that means, like, ballpoint pens, uh, stick it notes, paper clips, <laughs> things like that. But uh, anyway, that's what they do. But it does look really good back here, I must admit, as with everything else on this route. This would have been the last one right here. This is Moda. Moda Express. They take uh, textiles. So, you know, fibers, cloth, stuff like that. Textiles, that's what they take. It's a pretty big place, too. And this looks... Yep. I had a feeling. Look at that, man. So, that's what's so unique about back here. I gotta hand it. Like, he doesn't just plop down a couple of warehouse-style asset buildings and call it a day. Like, each one of these is different. So this is like some, some brick building going on back here. And then kind of like a metal-sided deal down below. Of course, that's the office here. This might... Is this the boulevard that runs out over the yard down here? Let's follow it and see. Oh, no. This runs right over to the uh, the yard here. Okay. So, anyway, yeah. That behind us, that is Moda. So, we'll go ahead and pretend like we've dropped everything off. And we're going to run... Run out of here. We're going to take our behinds through the yard... Now, typically, they would not take this route, and that's what's great about uh, Minerman's Manual on how to operate. Of course, like always, you can do whatever the hell your little heart desires. It's train sim, you know. Nobody can tell you what to do. But, prototypicality-wise, um, you would not run the way I'm going to run here. But, we're going to pretend like it's the only line available to get out of here right now, and that's what we're going to do. We also might run over a high railer truck in the process, but, uh, you know, things happen sometimes. But we're going to run south out of here and look at a couple of little cool spots along the way. Let's see, am I lined up right here? Something's funky. 
All right, we'll find that once we get there. So anyway, goodbye, Croxton West lead. About to run by the office down here, the uh, the yard office. So button up, make sure to smile and wave at the uh, yard master. All right, we got a twenty. Man, this thing sounds like somebody needs to check the uh, air hoses. <laughs> they got a couple of leaks or something. But it's a pretty good sized yard where it, you know, where it lacks in, we'll say, girth or uh, thickness, it makes up for in length. It's, uh, it's about three miles. Uh, from stem to stern this yard. Now it is considered one yard, but this section down here is primarily intermodal. But uh, yeah, three miles. Um, intermodal comes in when it comes in. It's it's typically priority traffic um, pretty much everywhere in the U.S. Um, for the most part, as always. And the local tricks, the the locals that run in and out of this yard here, uh, or you know, if they got to do stuff around the intermodal yard as well, they'll, I think they'll run from five to nine, uh, to four to six. I think I doted on that earlier, but I was completely incorrect. Let's make sure we're pathed right here. We don't want to run through the car shop; that would not turn out well. Under I-95 once again. And then here's the Northeast Corridor above us. Complete with overhead line. And these, these supports look unique. Hold the phone here. I am just now noticing that. So we've got the standard concrete support, right? The pylon. Yeah, so he's doubled that up. He's got an, an extra block in here with the pylon. Looks all right. That looks a okay. That's nice. I dig it. I can dig it. All right, continue. All right, we're gonna come on through the IM yard here. Now, I think I sat a road railer up here. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, it's a bit inconvenient at this point in time, but I thought it, I thought it was a good idea at the time that I placed it. But uh, good thing it's kind of an invisible asset. Yep, there it is, son of a gun. Passing by the car shop once again. Getting these low boys ready to get back out on the rail, get back to work. Do what they were built to do. Can see uh, the city, the island, the peninsulan city over there in the distance, just over that ridge. There's, It's kind of funky. There's a a massive ridge here and it's it's obviously here in real life as well but there's a massive ridge that runs right the side or right the way down that uh, pretty much all the train tunnels go under and through and it's uh, it's pretty unique because it's it's relatively flat everywhere else around here so uh, 
I always thought that bit was interesting. Got to be a decent view up there. All right, get out of the truck, man! Get out of there! Okay, it's uh, it's not real. It's a figment of our imagination. A couple old 1500s sitting there. And he has got these these custom trailers here as well, just all over the friggin' place in this yard. I mean, just setting setting those down alone in this yard would have to take a very long time. I mean, it's one thing taking the, you know, container asset 03 or whatever the heck it's called. It's got like 10 of them in a row, but a lot of these are custom, like I've gone over in other videos. So, you know, that's something you got to do each time. That is a custom building right there. That looks good too. Yeah, I got the brick in the the metal wall there. And here's the roof of the brick. It's actually several brick buildings. That looks all right. That's legit, man. All right, let's check our pathing one more again. See if we are gravy to get on out of here. Go southbound. Even all back here, he's got stuff. Got these bridges. The light masts. 5G tower for your... Uh, implant to receive maximum coverage I love these uh, these houses going up the uh, the hillside there looks very nice it's the Hudson power station in the D stones we'll give her one notch here We're slowing down a bit some junction boxes and whatnot radio there radio tower and it's back here what I was talking about earlier this is a, uh, a plywood company back here I think it no longer exists as well but uh, it's it's like a little hidden jewel back here man you you gotta navigate all that stuff going on down there just to get back here so that's uh, that's pretty cool it'd be a task in itself There we go. Now, traditionally, you're probably not going to run out here because they're just portals. They don't really go anywhere, but he's, you know, he's still got it signaled. He's still got the, the trees and plants and weeds and all that done up. Um, complete with switches. There you go, right there. There's your signal mast. Let's see what's going on over here. What is that? <laughs> I'm just now seeing this for the first time. I don't. What on earth is that? There's like little bits of rail down there, huh? This is part of the power station. Maybe here. There's another old tower right there. I think that, uh, is that what goes into Hoboken? Yes, it is. So right through there is Hoboken, which would go over the river to Manhattan. NYC. So even back here, man, there's just all kinds of stuff. Man, that power plant looks good. It's just... It, it just for you know the the 17th time maybe more it just goes to show what you can do you know if you have the will and the want to uh, to make stuff like this uh oh we got a copper back here 
All right, so it looks like this was dug out under the line up there because this is a pretty good size grade, and we're rolling because I wasn't paying attention. And I've been fired. There we go. Get those little Greta Thunberg friendly engines revving up here. Come on, buddy. I can smell the patchouli oil and see the lava lamps in my mind. Saving whales right now, guys. There we go. We'll uh, jump through this. There we go. Yeah. I know what he's up to. Looking for speeders, possibly. A nice bridge up here. And there's one more consignee right here. This little spur here. Let's see. KNF Flex Pack Corp. But that would continue on southbound, the direction that we are headed there. God, even all this, man. I have no clue what this is, but it just looks good. It works. It fits. Scenery obviously ends there. It wasn't meant to go any further. Over this mound of earth right here. That's Croxton over that way. Just an absolute... Absolute awesome route. And, uh, I don't, I don't think I can say that I'm done. You know, I don't think I can say that this is it. There's, uh, there's still stuff happening. There's, there's still places to go. I can think of a couple of places that I, I have yet to go, um, or really cover in the route itself. But this, I just wanted to go over it. This is Jersey City and Croxton. And the uh, the merchant lead, but that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, take care out there, and I'll catch you next time. See you guys.